the first stage of the much anticipated aviation maintenance technology program put on by Cape Cod Community College is underway now at gate six of the Plymouth Municipal Airport. We met up with some of the students and instructors in the classroom and the labs to find out how things are moving along and what the program entails. Wait for landing Mansfield. At Mansfield, Cherokee's on a left face the final for runway. They say that necessity is the mother of invention. Or in the case of Plymouth's airport and others like it around the South Shore, it was a need for certified aviation technicians that opened the door for Cape Cod Community College's latest endeavor. When I met with the CEO at Cape Air and they were talking about their ongoing need to have qualified mechanics to get into the industry to help take care of their, their fleet. So as we talked a little bit more about that, we. Uh, we sketched out a pathway to create the program that would ultimately become a uh, FAA certified program and allow our students to uh, graduate completing certification in airframe and power plant and then ultimately setting for the FAA exam and become licensed uh, aviation mechanics. The program didn't just happen overnight, it was about four years in the works, but now that it's arrived at Gate 6 at Plymouth Municipal Airport, that's where you'll find a classroom full of students that couldn't be happier that it's finally here. Well, I've just had a fascination with uh, planes running back since I was a little kid, and um, I went to the college um, a little over a year ago to see what different types of programs that they offered, and I saw that they had aviation maintenance, and I got really excited uh, to join the program. The certification course itself takes 12 months, and nearly half of that time will be spent in this classroom, which is tough medicine for some of its students. We ain't got to the hands-on part yet, so that's probably the part I'm going to like the most. Definitely exciting for the opportunities it's going to present when it's all done. The students would have had to spend that much time in the classroom regardless, but with eight-hour days, this program is considered a fast track for the licensure. Basically, we are compressing 1,900 hours of uh, instruction to the students. So they will be hands-on, everything across the board that the FAA requires someone to have the Aviation uh, A&P uh, Mechanic Certificate. Richard Lyman brings 25 years of military flight experience to the classroom, while one of the other instructors we met with has a few more years on his resume. My background started in aviation 58 years ago. My certificate is 58 years old. So I bring in a complete history of aviation for a very long period of time. And my joy here is to be able to transfer knowledge that it took me years to learn to students who can get it from me in literally weeks. Of course, it's not all classroom time. When they're ready, the students will have some of the most state-of-the-art equipment available at their disposal. The two hangars will serve as labs, whether it's metal fabrication or using these horizontally mounted engine simulators to take apart and put back together. The engine on the far right actually works, so the students can test whether what they've taken apart was put back together correctly. And there are aircraft just like the kind they would come across in the field for them to work on as well, starting with this single engine Piper Colt moving on to this Piper Comanche, and eventually this twin-engine Cessna. We have virtual simulators for welding. We have virtual simulators for painting. So they will actually practice in a virtual reality before we actually send them into our paint booth or we send them into our welding booth. Well, they'll do welding. They'll do painting. So these are all technical skill sets that they're going to get here. Uh, everything is brand new. Everything is top of the line, latest equipment that's out there. So they are learning stuff that out in, the U, out in the industry isn't incorporated yet. So we are giving them leading edge technology here at uh, Cape Cod Community College. It's complete. It, it truly covers the spectrum of aviation from engines and propulsion to airframes and why and how airplanes fly, avionics, electricity, the complete range. Reporting from the Four Seas Aviation Hangar at Gate 6 in Plymouth, I'm Brian Sullivan, PAC-TV Community News.